Darcy, who's lifted North Melbourne from obscurity. I suppose we could term him as Mr Football. Barassa's uh, arrival at the club, just his tenacity and his confidence and the way he went about it. We all believe it was just a matter of time before we had that success. 11 guys out of 20 were here four years ago when you were just a bum side. Those horrible years at North Melbourne, they'll fade very, very quickly if we can get a flag. It started with the uh, selection. I think we got that right. Uh, I was very happy with uh, that. I think we had a good side. We had a powerful side. And by this stage, I think we had we had a whole team that really desperately wanted to win because the previous year we got belted by Richmond. All our plans are laid. All it needs now is your minds and your hearts on the job. And you will bloody come in here so happy. And you'll be bloody worthy winners because you've given me all the support that you possibly can. All that remains is for you to get out there and give your teammates all the support you can. And let's go! Come on! You know, he, look, he, he worked so hard in that particular game because of the fact that the, the, the week before, you know, we struggled against Hawthorne uh, and they beat us, or, or two weeks before, and then we had to come through another area to, to have another crack at them. You can't be happy just to get to a grand final. It's... The idea is to win the grand final. Yeah, after sort of getting done the, uh, against Hawthorne the first time, just the way he went about it and building us up, we got through the preliminary and he was confident and he, he instilled that confidence in all of us. No team in VFL history has won the Premiership from third spot. Will it happen this year? It seems as though it might. We said before the match 100 minutes at half-time 60 and now it's only 25. We've come too far, let us slip now. That is not to say we go defensive, though. We're still keeping this bloody pressure up as never been kept up before in the history of North Melbourne. And let's keep this pressure on by long kicks straight up the guts. 25 minutes to go, boys. I'm extraordinarily proud of you. But I want you to make me the proudest coach in league history. And I want this crowd to be proud of every last one of you. So let's go! Come on! And he could feel what was happening. He could feel it. And when you look at the scores, it was a big score. I always remember the prophetic words of the great Alan Killigrew, you know, in our old social club just across the road. The prophetic words on the, were emblazoned on the wall. Those that win North Melbourne's first ever premiership will gain football immortality. <laughs> There's Barassi. Look at him. He's cracking it for a smile. His first smile in weeks. Oh, it's a ring-a-ding-ding -ding for North Melbourne, isn't it? A oh, ring-a-ding-ding, are we all right? Come on, ring the bloody bell. Dumbo! <laughs> Well, come back. <laughs> Ron Barassi and I have a very, very close rapport now. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, we're like brothers in arms. I'll be in this, I'll be right in this! Uh, <laughs> you little bastard, Chisholm! <laughs> <Skip up. laughs> I think the Blacks are genius. He's total commitment towards football in front of everything else. He was just a, uh, he was just like a centrifugal force that would just drag you to him. Yeah, he was he was terrific and I've, I still like him. We meet regularly and uh, he's, he hasn't changed much for me. The coach! Boys, I just want to say, you're a magnificent bunch of boys. You've been very loyal to North Melbourne, to Mick and to myself. Today you've had a just reward, a reward that you've worked very, very hard for. And as good as you feel now, you'll feel the same for the next 50 years. Yeah. Oh. It's sweet to cry when you're happy, isn't it? <laughs>